The construction of Hagia Sophia began in 532 CE during the reign of Byzantine Emperor Justinian I. For almost a thousand years, Hagia Sophia functioned as the main cathedral of Constantinople, in modern day is known as Istanbul. In 1453, Constantinople fell to the Ottoman Turks, and Hagia Sophia was converted into a mosque by Sultan Mehmetu. The building served as a mosque for nearly 500 years, undergoing further alterations, including the addition of minarets and other Islamic architectural elements. And this video tells about the Second Sultan Mehmed's struggle to win Constantinople from the Emperor Constantine. The Second Sultan Mehmed is also known as Mehmed the Conqueror. Sultan Mehmed II lived in exile as governor of Meniza in the Aegean province. Mehmed was accompanied by Zarganos Pasha, his loyal follower. Ten years earlier, Mehmed had actually been crowned Sultan, however, because he was very stubborn with a very strong will. The Pasha who was tasked with educating him was not happy with him and denounced Mehmed to his father. This led to Mehmed being sent into exile and his throne being suspended until he was declared ready to become Sultan of the Ottomans. 1451. Mend received a letter informing him to return to the Ottoman court immediately as his father, the Ottoman Sultan Murad II, had passed away. Sultan Mend immediately spurred his horse to Adrianople and met Kandali Halil Pasha, his father's prime minister. Kandali Halil Pasha immediately kissed Mend's hand as a sign that the prime minister recognized Mend's authority as heir to the throne of the Ottoman Sultanate. Halil Pasha was the one who doubted Mem's ability to lead the Ottomans the most, and the one who caused Mem to be sent into exile. Mem also met his stepmother, Marah Brankovic. Marah has been Mem's closest advisor and ally since childhood. Mem's father was buried and Mem reascended the throne to become Sultan Mem II of the Ottomans in place of his father, as he was the sole heir to the Ottoman throne. The death of Ottoman Sultan Murad II in 1451 brought the Ottomans and Romans to the brink of war. Mem said to his minister, to prove himself capable and worthy of leading the Ottomans was to obtain a supreme achievement. To prove myself capable and worthy of leading the Ottomans was to achieve the ultimate achievement. Namely, to achieve the greatest dream of the Ottoman rulers since 1,000 years ago, which is to conquer Constantinople. Hagia Sophia is a magnificent building in Istanbul, Turkey, that has a long and rich history. It was originally built as a Christian church in the 6th century by Emperor Justinian I, who wanted to create a splendid place of worship for the Byzantine Empire. The first Hagia Sophia featured a wooden roof. The structure was burned to the ground in 400 for a D. During the riots that occurred in Constantinople as a result of political conflicts within the family of then Emperor Arcadios, who had a tumultuous reign from 395 to 408 AD. Arcadio's successor, Emperor Theodosius II, rebuilt the Hagia Sophia, and the new structure was completed in 415. However, a little more than one century later, as the structure was burned for a second time during the so-called Nika revolts against Emperor Justinian I, who ruled from 527 to 565. Unable to repair the damage caused by the fire, Justinian ordered the demolition of the High Sophia in 532. He commissioned renowned architects Isidoros Mila and Anthemius Trolls to build a new basilica. The third Hagia Sophia was completed in 537, and it remains standing today.
Constantinople is a city that became the center of the world and became the ideal of the Ottoman sultans to conquer it. There have been 23 invasions carried out by the Ottoman rulers to bring down Constantinople, but always failed. The fortifications that protected the city of Constantinople were very strong and consisted of several layers of defense. The length of the fortress is 20 to 0.5 kilometers with a height of 10 meters. Hearing of the new Ottoman Sultan, the Emperor Constantine threatened to attack the Ottoman Sultanate if it did not pay triple tribute to the ruler of Constantinople. As an act of resistance, Memd instead built fortresses in Roman lands strategically located on the European side of the Bosphorus Strait to cut off all supplies and military aid from Roman allies on the Black Sea. The construction of the fort was completed in 4.5 months, eight months before Sultan Mem's invasion of Constantinople. Emperor Constantine was shocked to hear the challenging plan of Sultan Mem. Considering the large number of Ottoman troops, Constantine immediately requested help from the Italian naval fleet and the assistance of mercenaries from Geneva, led by Giovanni di Stiniani. The Emperor welcomed Giovanni di Stiniani and his troops. The Italian naval fleet managed to escape four of its large ships and managed to reach the city of Constantinople. Before carrying out the attack on Constantinople, Sultan Mem summoned Halil Pasha to get approval for the invasion of the fortress of Constantinople. I will build a very large cannon and immediately attack the fortress of Constantinople. Immediately prepare an army with the best soldiers. One of Sultan Mem's brilliant strategies was to build a giant cannon to destroy the powerful fortress of Constantinople. The cannon has a length of 8 meters, a bullet ball with a diameter of 2.5 meters, and a throwing power of 1.6 kilometer. The giant cannon is called the Basilica. The work had to be completed within three months. As an initial stage of the invasion, the Ottoman army took down the Roman outposts outside Constantinople. Sultan Mend raised an army of 80,000 men in six months, while Constantine had only 7,000 soldiers. Sultan Memd and his ministers began holding meetings to organize the invasion strategy. When there was a lunar eclipse, Queen Mara encouraged Sultan Memd to immediately invade Constantinople because according to Queen Mara and astrologers, this lunar eclipse was a good sign of Mem's success in invading Constantinople. In April 1453, the Ottoman army began to move towards Constantinople, covering a distance of 238 kilometers. The army consisted of 80,000 soldiers, sword and crossbowmen, and some newly completed giant cannons. The Ottoman troops built new tents very close to the fortress so that they could see everything that was going on in the fortress of Constantinople. We must conquer Constantinople before the help from Italy arrives. At all times, Mem kept an eye on the activities in Constantinople, which he could monitor and study from a distance. The 
Ottomans carried out a cannon attack in order to immediately occupy Constantinople. The Ottoman army had to defeat the Roman army before the troops of the Pope could come to their aid. It had been three weeks since the Ottomans had attacked the fortress of Constantinople, but it was so solid and strong that only a few walls were damaged. Therefore, the invasion of the fortress was also carried out by raiding with troops armed with arrows and swords. The army of Constantinople was led by Giovanni di Stiniani. Giovanni's strategy was to defend the outer wall with troops using swords and shields to withstand the arrows of the Ottomans. The Ottoman crossbowmen also carried out fire arrow attacks on Italian ships and the Ottomans managed to sink several large Italian ships. Although there were many casualties on both sides, the fighting spirit of the Ottoman troops was great because the walls of the Constantinople fortress had begun to fragile. On May 28, 1453, eight week of the assault on the fortress, the Ottoman army's efforts finally began to show impressive results that boosted their morale. The walls of Constantinople could finally be destroyed. Emperor Constantine, who led the army, was eventually killed. Justiniani escaped with a serious wound and died on the run. After the fortress walls fell, Sultan Mehmed led his own army into the city and conquered Constantinople. Together, we will conquer this fortress. Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Losing their leadership, the Emperor's troops surrendered to the Ottoman forces. Constantinople was captured by the forces of Sultan Mem II, later called Mem the Conqueror. Sultan Mem went straight to Hagia Sophia and went inside. He expressed his admiration for the building. I, as the new ruler of Constantinople, ordered to turn this church into a beautiful mosque. The Ottomans added four minarets, a mirab, and Islamic calligraphy to the building, while preserving some of the original Christian mosaics and icons. Mem II, the conqueror, left an indelible mark on the world, and his quest for Constantinople echoes throughout history. Throughout its history, Hagia Sophia has undergone numerous earthquakes, fires, and renovations, adapting to the changing political and cultural landscape of the region.
Its architectural and artistic features reflect a blend of Byzantine and Ottoman influences, making it a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a symbol of cultural and historical significance. Some mosaic paintings dating back to the 14th century are still found on the second floor of the mart. Today, Hagia Sophia stands as a living testament to the layers of history it has witnessed. From the grandeur of Byzantine aspirations to the echoes of Ottoman conquests, it remains an architectural marvel, inviting contemplation on the passage of time and the enduring spirit of a city that straddled continents.